back to school time. It's very exciting. It's, well, it's probably more exciting for parents than kids. Believe me, I used to be one of those kids that was dreading back to school. But here are some things that you guys should remember. College. For all of you college freshmen out there that are starting off, I am telling you right now, this is going to be the best time in your life. Freshman year is always so exciting. You're new, you're learning, this is your first time maybe on your own, especially if you're going to school out of state. Um, you're just living, you know, you don't, you're in that, that window where you don't have to worry about bills and you can still go out and party. I'm telling you right now, the buyback process, the buyback book process is a scam. It's a sham. You're going to be paying $200 for a book, and at the end of the year, when they do that whole buy your books back, you're going to get a dollar for it. I'm here to tell you it's a scam. Don't, like, don't even look at the sign. Take your core classes first. If you can, if there, if you're in a at a school where you there's an option, get math out of the way, science out of especially math. Ugh, you don't want to be stressing out your junior and your senior year trying to pass a freshman math class because you decided to skip over it because you didn't want to deal with it. Don't wait till the last minute to find an internship. I think that was probably one of the issues with me, was that I waited till the last minute to really try to build my career. Uh, as far as getting my foot in the door when I should have been had my foot in the door or at least had my hand on the knob sit in the front don't sit in the back I know it's scary and believe me I was one of those people that would get there early so I could get a seat in the back but sit in the front okay maybe not all the way in the front sit the second row behind the front row get your college education remember you're paying for this hey if they call on you and you give the wrong answer you give the wrong answer it's not the end of the world roommates now i can tell you some stories about roommates but i won't get into that but communication is key especially with living with someone you don't know have a sit down talk with them um, explain that you're not a mind reader and that you guys need to have some type of communication and have comfortable communication. You don't want to be scared to tell your roommate that, hey, you're, you know, you're not picking up as much as you want or do you mind tidying up a little bit of your side of the room. Have a meeting with your roommates if you haven't already and talk about what you guys expect from each other, what you guys expect from this experience, and what you want to take away from this. You want to have friends. You hope to make these people in your life a great part of your life and a friendship so if you guys are not communicating or being passive aggressive like I was in college you're probably going to end up in some situations that you don't really want to be in. Ramen noodles are really seriously the best thing ever for a college diet. Get involved if there are activities that involve college freshmen like movie nights or you know forums to talk about woman equality or anything like that get involved please take the most out of your college experience as you can getting a job now starting off as a freshman it might be a little bit difficult to get a job and try to hand and juggle that so I wouldn't really suggest getting one as a freshman but as you get closer up to senior year I would suggest getting a student worker job um, or a hobby if you braid hair girl and that can also save you money if you were able to do your own hair and I have to go to a salon every two weeks that's gonna save you money as a college student call your parents that's another issue that I had roommates and communicating with my family I definitely was not into calling my parents every week to make sure to show the, them that I was alive and that I was okay it's really good to have that especially if you're out of state um, Especially if you're from a small town, call your family once a week just to get that family vibe back. It's okay that you don't know what you want to do and you're in college. That's what college is for. Now by senior year, if you don't know what you want to do, that's a problem. Memories. Get a camera because I'm telling you to look back at some of the college memories that I had videos I had. I was the one freshman year that always had a camera and was recording every moment and I am so happy that I did because it's so fun to look at 
over the years of what I did with my friends and it was so much fun. Be careful, know your surroundings, especially when you go out to parties. Have a system when you guys go out, um, you know, know what time you guys are going and know what time you guys are leaving. Have a code word or something. That's silly to have to do that, but it gets real out here and I really want to make sure that everybody's safe. Remember, the people that you meet in college are probably going to be some really great friends that you're going to have for a lifetime. So remember to be kind to people, be nice to people, and just have fun. Just enjoy the moment. Be in the moment really and truly you know don't look at freshman year and go oh my god i have three more years what am i going to do how am i going to pay my bills you know enjoy the moment that you're in and really just love life and i think that's it that's all i have for this college edition of randomness with chris i don't know what to call it but hopefully you like this video if you are a college freshman starting off college and you have questions, comment below and let me know. Um, I can tell you as much as I can from my experience and maybe I'll get other people involved. Why did I just sing that? Um, thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you guys next time. Peace!